Hey guys, how you doing? Today I'm going to be showing you my homemade water ionizer. I've seen a couple videos on YouTube on how to make yours, so I decided to, you know, I don't want to spend a thousand bucks, so <laughs> might as well create my own. Uh, usually on YouTube, the couple videos I've watched, the two bottles are usually stuck together, which is, uh, I mean, it's alright, but I was finding it was leaking, plus it was just too cluttered. So what I went with was uh, one and a half inch PVC piping. Okay, one, this one and a half inch in the middle. These two over here are one and a half inch, but they have threaded inside. So I just, when I made the one and a half inch holes, I could just screw it on. After I used some silicone epoxy right here, let it dry out for about a day, and then washed out the bottles. Um, it works fairly great. Um, let me disconnect this right quick. Um, I found this adapter. It's a, a multi-bolt adapter. I can put it up to 12. So I found it for about 9 bucks on at price. Uh, and it works pretty well. What I did, I just cut out the ends. And voila. Also, the titanium plates. I found these titanium plates on eBay. I was looking online and I saw that they were going for about 60 bucks um, for a little roll. And I went on eBay, I found them for five dollars for enough footing that I needed for it. Uh, after that, I just stuck on the alligator clips to the wire to the titanium and connected it and I find out that after like two hours it does its job the water is coming out different here I'm gonna do a little test with my uh, pH tester so here we go we're gonna go with the negative first okay So I usually put about five drops. Oh, I can even see the bottom. Here we go. One, two, three, five. That's five drops right there. Shake it up a little. And you can see here, let me put it against the white contrast. That is coming out yellowish orange which means it's acidic, uh, acidic so yeah that's what you don't want pretty much uh, next let's try the positive Let me get this water out right here Same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Let's shake it up. And now you can see it's bluish green, which means it's high pH level, and that's pretty much what you want. Um, so like I said, it does, it does the job and I have no complaints. Now something they never answered when I was looking on the, on the YouTube videos was how do you stop the acid water from getting into the high pH water when you're draining it. Because you know, as soon as you start draining this, it'll even out and the acid water will jump in here. One of the solutions I came up with, since I put a, a threaded PVC piping, one and a half inch PVC piping over here, the thread is inside. 
so what I can do I just bought one of these thread caps and when I'm ready I just open up the top screw it on so the water won't go onto this side and I can drain all this out um, other than that I, I got these bottles at Walmart they're HPA free and they're about nine bucks a bottle so I mean it's they're really good bottles it was it gave me a really hard time cutting the holes so I mean if you guys want really good bottles th that's where I found them um, and that's about it it took me about let me see cost me about let's say fifty to sixty bucks to make this and you know it's it does the job like I said so if you guys want to try it go ahead uh, if you have any questions, just send me an email or ask on YouTube. Alright, have a good day guys.